As I continue to unbox Pac-Man, this is what we're looking at so far. I think this is just for the riser, most of this. These all got unwrapped. There's tons of cool pieces with artwork on them. I'll get there as soon as I get there. I'm hurrying, guys, but we want to do a nice job. Look at this. This must be the joystick top. That's cool. Got the cool buttons over here. I'm so pumped. Man, I'm going to set this up. I'm really doing this for my mom. And then I'm hopefully going to get a reaction video sometime when she comes downstairs, sees it for the first time. I'll have to invite her over to my house. I'm pumped. I think these cabinets are so fun. And keep in mind, this is going to be on a riser, so it's going to be nice and tall. Here's the screen. Arcade 1UP makes it so nice. It's like putting together a really easy puzzle. And you get these beautiful screws, and they just sink in the holes perfectly. Look how cool this front's going to look. I am so excited about this. Keep in mind, this riser we're going to build is sold separately in most cases. So definitely check. if you're... Here's how you put G on. You put the pigs here and here on both sides. You connect it, and you have this facing the back the back and the crack in the back. It's currently held together by two pigs, little wood pigs like that. And then look how nice this sinks in there. And it just screws in perfect and plush. Not plush, I meant flush. Look how it just fits in there perfect. It just disappears. And then I'm just going until it's nice and tight, not too tight. Perfect, look how clean these always look. For this step, I just had to stick these pigs into these holes right here. There's one in each corner, so. Like that, and then do the other side quick. See, it's kind of like doing a little puzzle, guys. It's kind of enjoyable because you get such a nice end product out of this. That one's being a little toughy. There we go. Okay, we're going to stick K right up here. And then we're going to put a screw through the other side in that center hole. Just like that. And we have a second K that's going to go down here. And we're going to do the same thing here. See how it goes together like a little puzzle? So we got the screw on the other side for that one too. It's real simple. They want you to use your screwdriver, not a drill. Then we'll take the L board and we'll put it way down here. And we'll put a screw in the other side. The screws I'm using were labeled B. All right, I think that looks great. Next, they want us to work with part A, which is the screen. So we're going to be really careful with this. They're smart. They put a uh, protective piece on this that screws off when you're done. So this is what everybody's going to be looking at the whole time. Uh, but we do need to access this back side. And they want us to grab pieces F and pieces C. And we're going to mount these here with uh, those screws we just showed you. Here, here here and here all right done all right using those same C screws we're gonna connect this screen to that so we're gonna rotate this like this I think the screens probably gonna sit in here and this is where we're gonna mount it this is what it looks like guys I'm gonna go like that see how those line up right to those holes Ta -da. And that's why I love Arcade 1UP, because like I said, it's like a big puzzle, and they make it easy. Like, they put that groove in there that the screen slid into, just to make it easy. I gotta pop one more screw on each side. Alright, we're fully mounted, now we're grabbing pieces B and M. First we'll take B here, and we're gonna put these pegs on the outer ones. So one, two, and then another side, three, four. Alright, we got the pegs in B here. Now we need to put six of those pegs into M. I'll show you where they go in just a second. Here, here, and here, and the same on the other side. Then we'll take two C screws right there, and this F part, lay it right like that, and screw it on there. All right, we did an excellent job. Now we're gonna connect the two, like so. So I guess this clicks into here. All right, so we connected it with the pigs, and then we need two of those C screws. We're gonna screw it in right here. All right, these are connected. All right, then we're going to take this and put it on its side and plug these pegs into these holes. Oh, that looks really nice. Let's see what the next step is. All right, we're going to take this big board labeled H and slide it into place. So it looks like this side is going to slide into this crack right here and then connect into that slot down below. So I slid it into place. Nothing's really holding it in right now, but when we, I think we're going to end up putting that other side in and that's what's going to hold it soon. 
Right now we need two other pieces, I and N. Man oh man, I looks super nice. It's this big yellow one here. And that's gonna slide into place right here. We're gonna wanna connect it like a puzzle. There's a groove right here, it's in, right? Make sure it's in that groove. It's not fitting, I'm realizing I put G on backwards, so I'm a little bummed. I gotta figure that out quick. Right part I right here, it's gonna connect right in here, slide into place, looking good. Piece N, this will slide into place right above that last piece right here. Voila, connects nice. Big step, we're gonna pull this up and put it the black side down. We're gonna put the side panel on this side of the machine and pop all of these wood pins into place in the matching holes. This part seems extremely tricky to me, but if you just take your time, you can do it. These, they need to slide into the slots on the other side and then we're matching the wood pigs up too. I'll be back in a few minutes when I get this. I know I said it was super tricky, but it all just started popping into place real quickly and easily. Give me another minute. All right, now we take six of those screws labeled B. They're the longer ones. And we just fasten them in. They fall in there. You just tighten them once they're dropped in there. So they go in snug. Is this one biting? I'll have to check that one in a minute. See if this one's biting. Okay, all of them are tight except for these two. I gotta see what's going on with that. So on the two that aren't tightening, I can see they're going into this. So I just gotta line those up and make sure they click into place quick. So I can push that back up, pull it out of there, and then match this up so it fits just right. Gonna need this in the crack too. So what seems to be messing me up is this top piece. I gotta get it in this crack just right. Once I do that, these will fall into place for me. Okay, that was the most challenging step for me, but we got it. All right guys, now that I got it put together, you can see how tremendously short this is. That's overwhelmingly short. Very disappointing. Good thing we got a riser we ordered. So you're gonna want the riser, guys, if you can get it. Or else you're gonna wanna put this on a platform of some type. We're gonna return to our type C screws. You need four of them. And we're gonna go on this in the back and uh, fasten these to the side. This is the back of the screen. All right, we got all of them mounted. Except for one, we're missing one type C screw. I must have lost it, it stinks. I'm gonna see, one up's usually pretty good. Arcade one up, let's go see if they threw in an extra screw in the extra parts bag. Thank goodness, there's the extra part I need right there in spare parts. All right, now we really are fully mounted in there, so we're looking good. Um, those are the last two steps were gonna be the toughest, definitely, that we just did. Because you're kind of flexing everything, getting everything to pop together, just how it's supposed to be. Just like a puzzle. Now this step here, they just want you to put a screw in up here on this side. Um, I had just done that. I thought it was a step I missed. No, they saved that one for last. That's what really brings everything together now. Uh, they are giving us the okay in the instructions to peel this screen protector off. So we will gently do that now. Ooh, I'm excited. This looks pretty good. Why are there screws in this? Am I doing it right? You just peel around the screws. Wow, that looks good. That looks really nice. Besides those little screws there. I'm gonna have to fine tune me, pick all that off of there. But yeah, screen's looking good. More work to do here yet, guys. Okay, they're calling for the installation of part C. That's this here. Wow, I almost dropped it right there. Uh, they got a really thick protective cover over it. I wonder if that stays on there. It's not as bright graphics with it, but I know it's well protected. It looks waterproof. So they're showing this like I need to plug something in the back of this. So let's do that. And it does look like we're taking that protective cover off, which is nice. Alright, so on the back of the machine we got this here. This is going to plug into the back of that like little joystick box, which I set in place. So should plug in right in here somewhere. I'm feeling for it. All right, so I got it plugged in. So it's plugged into the back of this. I peeled the protective thing off. I just removed it. It was just a heavy protective piece here. And let's see what the next step is. All right, we're gonna take our last four type B screws and screw this down in the four holes on top. All right, I'm just screwing down the uh, 
the control panel here with the joystick and buttons on it. Alright, we got that screwed down into place. Next time I see one of these at a restaurant or bowling alley, I'm going to really appreciate somebody had to put it together. Alright, we are really getting there, folks, so we'll slide this over here. Ah, that was bad. Beautiful joystick top. Let's go ahead and screw that on. Don't want to scratch that. Nice and tight. So it's going to make Pac-Man so fun. What, does it just screw forever? I think it does. That's crazy. But yeah, that's good to go. Nice click to it. Now it looks like we got to plug some wires in in the back, okay? Alright, the wire coming from the light goes in here. If you don't see it, you just got to feel up here. It's in there, up above in that crack. Um, this uh, audio one goes in here, and then I'll, with the lightning bolt, this goes down. It's this cord. It's going to actually poke out the back, so I'll show you here. So in the next step, I poke that through the back. I got the letter F here. This is going to go down here in the slot, like so, we'll push it in, and we will mount it into place. Alright, then they want us to use a total of three screws labeled E. So right here, right here, right here. Okay, I've verified where those screws go, those E ones, so one goes in the middle, and then it's the, uh, the ones in the center on each side on top so perfect all right I connected the uh, extension cord here to that not really extension cord but the power brick to this so that's ready to plug in but before we do we are going to put together the riser real quick because look how short this is without the riser I can't play that I'm concerned that it ain't gonna be tall enough with the riser we'll see okay it's telling me we're gonna need 16 pegs 20 G screws and 4 H screws and then here's the diagram if you guys want to look at it. I'm just going to start putting this together. Okay, so we need 16 of these pegs. On the sides, there's holes everywhere. We're going to do the inner holes. So that one and that inner one. I'm going to do both sides on RL, RR, RP, and RP. There's two RPs. These other ones, these don't get pegs. Okay, putting in those pegs was fast and easy, so I like that. Let's see what the next step is going to be. So it looks like we're going to actually screw these together um, with type. Does it say what type of screw right there? On the top? Let me study this. Alright, we're going to put RL and RR on against RP and RP. So RP is going to kind of go in the middle and keep it stable. And we're going to use, it appears to be G, G screws. All right, there we go. We got RR on this side, RL on this side, and RP, RP. That's what it looks like, guys. And now I'm going to put these screws in it right up here. One there, one there, and then the same on the exact other side. All right, I'm so excited, guys. We're almost done. We got uh, the four screws on each side of the riser there. So that's looking really nice. Looks like we uh, got to put that one in a little tighter. And next we're going to put these sides on and we should be about set to fire it up. Alright, and then these just pop in against those and then we put some screws in these as well. Okay, these two little boards were left over. They screw into the riser top, so that's going to put it up even higher. Even though I put it in there without them, it sat there. But yeah, put them on there if they come with it. Let's go ahead and pop it in there and turn it on. Alright, a job well done. i got to pick up a little bit. But looking good. This is my baby, this is where I spend my time. This, this is for my mom and Jane's mom and Jane. Let's turn it on for the first time. Ooh, that lit up nice. Is the screen gonna turn on? Uh oh, oh okay. Good deal, it's loading. Let's turn the volume off in this one. Ooh, look at that. Dude, my mom's gonna have so much fun over here. I'm gonna surprise her. I'm gonna do a reaction video, she's gonna not believe it. You can turn the volume up right here. What's this? Can you do like, there's two different things of buttons. Screen looks really good on this. Holy crap, look at all these Pac-Man games. Pac-Man, Pac and Pale, Pac-Man, Super, Pac-Man Plus, 
Pack Land, Pack Minia, Mappy, Galaxia, Galaga, Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2, Robbers. Yeah, I think that's it. That's pretty cool though. Look at that. Action. Okay. I'm not really a Pac-Man champ, but I'll try it. What are they telling me here? Yeah, start game. Dude, my mom's gonna be in heaven. She used to have one of these where she worked. This is pretty good height now, now that it's on the riser, but I think the riser is essential. I mean, it's right up there with my pinball machine now. Okay. Can we get this party started? Dude, look at this screen. It's perfect. It's beautiful, man. The big graphics. Looking really good. Oh, no. See, I ain't the champ. I need my mom to get over here and school me. I'm going to play it two-handed, guys. I'll see you a bit later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.